Hey guys, Dylan from the Geek Door here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to Death Parade Episode 7, titled Alcohol Poison. When the black-haired woman stumbles upon a picture book, she asks Decim about it, and he tells her that it might belong to Quinn, Quindison's previous bartender. Decim reveals the reasons why he spends so much time putting together mannequins. Now, it is very interesting, the, the synopsis, because A, they're still not giving us the black-haired woman's name, B, it has nothing to do with the game that's likely going to be played in this episode, which by the thumbnail looks to be billiards, and is Quinn not the one that was overseeing the world with the, um, lollipop on the chair with the mask? I thought that was her. Because in one of the earlier episodes, Nona actively speaks to Quinn. So I figured that it would have been a higher up, likely in the Souls Departing st segment, which is what the woman that we met a couple episodes was. And... So was I wrong about that? It seems like it. And I'm assuming that um, the picture book is the one that Nona's been reading and that the black-haired woman's have been having flashes of. But we'll find out in three, two, one, go. Also, I finally figured out why it wasn't playing when I would hit that button occasionally. Ah, we're back to the pool game. This was not the billiards I was talking about. Yeah, that's fair with, um, Dessen, the not feeling emotion. Nona, I still reckon, is an ex-arbiter, which goes against rule one there, and she experiences annoyance, which is an emotion. Um, I've forgotten his name, but, um, the other arbiter we've met, he's experiences schadenfreude, which is an emotion. Ginty. I had to see him to remember his name. Technically, boredom is an emotion. Still want to know what happened with her. Because... Did it show them... being... Ascended or thrown in the void. Um, rule one. How can there be an ex-bartender if they can't stop arbitrary? Two other arbiters.
why are you asking about that? Are you going through a similar thing that um, Desson was? Or are you asking about him? Oh, she was the one being read to. I thought she was the one doing the reading. Oh, hey, it's um the only other person from the opening that we have yet to meet. Quinn? She remembers. Every time I think of that book, the Chowat, I probably butchered that, but I mistake it for the bloody Pokemon, which is Chatot. Is this a backstory? Yeah, I thought Ginty looked younger. Weird that if they don't age, okay, you can still tell that they're younger. Oh, the game is in the past. What does that even do? I've never, never known. What is this audio playing in the background?
See, again, she experiences an emotion. He makes his dolls, the other gets a cat. Still not sure why the title. Usually by now the, um, it's be became apparent as to why it's called that. Also, they still haven't explained how he has the control over strings and all that. And Ginty had his, like, um, hydrokinesis and Does he model them after everyone he's judged? Because that outfit looked familiar. That is what the other one said. They've been dying at an increased rate.
manipulating human emotions in a What the hell is that about? You sacrificed or went to Why is she still there then? If you don't experience death, you can't have that cloud your judgment as to In a sense it makes sense in a way it makes sense.
is his deal? Oh, it's a double V. Shuffle. Okay, so there was a lot of interesting stuff revealed in this episode. First off, the people that we see in the episode are not the actual humans. They just seem to be the blank dolls that have had the like personality and skin of the person temporarily put onto them. And then whatever is been infused into them is what goes up or down. Okay, that's interesting. We have someone from the Inter Information Bureau who is in charge of the condensing memories, finding what's necessary to pass judgment and everything. Who used to be in Dessen's place. She speaks quickly, so I did miss a few lines. Um, but she mentioned something about arbiters with human emotions. Who is she sending to Dessen? What are you? I still don't know the name of that woman. Interesting. So, it does seem that while he was able to pass judgment on the idol, I forget his name, Ginty was able to pass judgment on the, on Harada. He wasn't able to on Mai. So, he has found himself in the exact same position that Desmond is, as much as he hates it and has criticised him for it and everything. Um, yeah. It seems like... So, Nona is seemingly doing an experiment of making human arbiters, people who are, who break all the rules, they've got emotions, they've experienced death, and, well, they don't break the first one, because, well, they can't, but she's got this dark, this black-haired woman training up with Decim, seeing if, how she affects his way of judging and everything. Because she wants to see a different way of judgment being done. She's seemingly paired um, Maya up with Ginty. I reckon that she had something to do. If she's able to um, mess with the assignment of souls and everything. Then sending different ones to different arbiters that they wouldn't know how to deal with. 
seems like she's looking for a different way of doing things, which is really dangerous when she's working. I'd say she's the closest under this guy. They called him Flowerhead. I don't remember what his actual name is. He's the one with the beard playing pool. Um, who said he's basically next to any existence of God there is. So, if she's going against his rulings, she's playing with fire, and anyone that she's got associated with her, that being Ginty, Desmond, Quinn, the one in the assignment room and all that, all of them are playing with fire. Plus, Meyer and this dark-haired woman, if he finds out, and she doesn't have results to show that her experiment was a success. And even if she does have results, there's always the possibility that he might see it as an attempted usurpation and stop it anyway. Yeah. Anyway, um... This was a lore-heavy episode. And as I said, it did... I did guess that there would be one of the next three that is not so much about judging people as it is building the world. Because there was episode two, there was episode five, and now there's episode seven. Had it followed the same pattern, this would have been episode eight, However, and I'm probably spoiling myself here, it looks like there's going to be a two-parter for seven and, well, eight and nine. Just going off of the thumbnails on Crunchyroll. And I'm interested to see what that means for this world. Anyway, um, don't have much to say. This was a very interesting episode to watch. And... Yeah, we got Desson's backstory. We've got why he makes his mannequins and everything. It was the woman from the first episode. That was who he was making. So. That means either he forgets memories quickly. Because that's what. I guess. Technically three. On screen. Games. Between her and where he is now, there was the bowling, the arcade, and the one that Ginty messed with. But there's also probably been several more off screen. But yeah. Or he's close to forgetting her, so. Anyway, um, I guess lot to think about before we watch the next episode so i'll catch you in the next one